TJ, how strange is it going to be to play the same team in back to back weeks? Oh, uh, this happened before. I mean, it's just different. You know, it's the playoffs. It won't be any different out there for me. Um, but you know, it's you go back, you watch the film. You got a little bit more time on on film and prep for each other. But you know, we we see these guys twice a year anyway. So I guess it would be different if it was another team that were playing back to back weeks. But we see it's not like we don't see these people twice a year anyway. DJ, hey, DJ, some what time makes Paul Boy's run game uh, so unique? Uh, <laughs> so good. It's an eleven on eleven run game. Um, they do a little good job of getting extra pullers out. Uh, just just creating different math on on the line, and it's it's different. You know, defense you're all off the ball. They're besides the four or five guys who are set up on the ball, so everybody else is flowing to the play. On offense, generally everybody else is line. Everybody's lined up on the line besides the running back and fullback. So when you have people moving that are already on the line, some people are already engaged with those people. And they're it's cutting off half the field. It's making different gaps for the defense. I could talk to you about it all day, but it's a really just a really really good scheme, and you don't see as many people doing it. So you're trying to prepare for a scheme that is very unique to them. Going into yesterday's game, DJ it looked like you were most likely going to be playing the Ravens in back-to-back weeks. How much do you think that maybe they held back on their offensive game plan so you wouldn't get that good look in the playoffs? I don't know. Again, we play them twice a year. I don't know how many cards they're holding. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, and, you know, they're going to always have some new wrinkles and things like that. It's a different offense from different people in there, but I don't, I don't, I don't see them changing up too much on what they got going. DJ, what's it like seeing Trey Hendrickson kind of like heating up almost like a basketball player? And, you know, he ended up making a bunch of big plays yesterday. Oh, man, it feels good, man. You know, <laughs> I finally get him out of my ear talking about getting a sack. He's just mad <laughs> I can finally get over it. But he's been, you know, he's been rushing, man, dealing with that hand injury. That's tough, especially being the rusher he is. But, you know, he's feeling himself now. And that's good. We need Trey to be in that energy and that vibe and, you know, no, and that confidence going into the playoffs that he's going to get there whenever he wants to at will. So, in addition good. to the sacks, can you just describe the ways he he's impacted the game all year when he's been out there? Oh man, he's an aggressive personality. He plays he plays that mind game with the other team's best players usually. As as far as on the offense line, a lot of left tackles go out there. He plays that mind game with them. He plays it at edge. Um, he's a great leader in the locker room and, um, you know, a great guy. I love Trey, man. He's solid. He's solid as a person, as a human. So I, I'm very appreciative of him. To touch on that, DJ, you know, outside of just Trey, I mean, it seems like the rest of you guys, even behind the defensive line, like you look at Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, you, know, you guys are really heating up. Uh, mm-hmm. How nice is it to have that timing where you're heating up right before the playoffs start? I think guys know what time it is. You know, guys are excited for that time of ball. You know, it's one game seasons. I think there's a lot of guys, you know, they got that taste last year in their mouth of, of what it feels like to get there. And, you know, they're hungry. They, they're they excited and they're playing on the edge. They know that every play could be your last play. And especially with this season coming up the way it is, that the end of it could be the next game. So they're just – they're doing what they need to do. Everybody's strong, hungry, and we got a goal in mind. Everybody's doing what we need to do to get to that goal. It's not nothing. It's not anything crazy. Like, you know, guys are lifting. They're more important. They're becoming pros. They're taking care of their business, and it's, it's fun to see. DJ, kind of along those lines, is there is there a, maybe one reason or maybe a big thing that has enabled you all to be as successful, if not more successful, than you were a year ago? Uh, I think guys are older. Guys are grown. Uh, got some more guys just coming in. The younger guys coming in and playing their role the way it's supposed to. The team's young and explosive, though. But And, you know, the coaches, I think, another year comfortable with players there, and there's more trust. There's, there's just everything that you need in the system that, that, to make it go. There's, that, it's like being in a relationship for a long time with somebody who you're truly in love with. Like, you know, our team is – it's a good jail team and we're, that we're all in a relationship and that, that year after year, it, it's going to just get better. And this year is a really, really good year, man. So everybody understands each other. We don't, there's things that you react to in year one of this team that you're not going to react to now, just because we've been there before. We understand it. We know what happens. And yeah, we might get mad about the same old things or get annoyed with certain stuff, but it's the trust and the respect we have for each other in that locker room because we've been through it. We've seen that guy grind across from us, most of us, for two years now, and we understand what that person is about. 
what's what's an example of that? Like, is there something you might be able to share about what that looks oh, like? Oh man, like if I, I, if we give up a touchdown, I'm sure every offense. I mean, especially depending on how it happens, every offense player is probably like, oh man, you just like whatever. Or they go and stall out on a three and out. It happens. It's no longer even like a thought process of, oh man, are they going to get out of this rhythm or is our defense going to keep giving up points or is our offense never like, we don't even think that way anymore. It's not a thought in our head. It's like, oh, well, they didn't got out of this jam many times. They'll figure it out. Like, it's not that there's not a sense of urgency. I think there's the exact opposite. Everybody has a sense of urgency of like, we got to get out of this. So it doesn't last long. It's not like something in our head of we can worry about it because it's sense of urgency to get the problem fixed is even higher, like higher on our mental. TJ, uh, from the beginning of this season, it seemed to be a sense of purposefulness about this team. Like you have a mission and mm -hmm. there's one end to that mission. And although you did celebrate last night, it still seems to have that air of, you know, we, we know where we got to go and what we need to do. Is that a pretty good assessment? Yeah, that's pretty fair. I, I would say that's, that's probably as accurate as you're going to get on it. Um, you know, you, you celebrate. So winning the division back to back is something to be celebrated. Um, we got 24 hours of it, and you know we got to flush it and go get get back to work because now it's in a whole another season. It's the postseason, and we, like you said, there's there's a goal in mind, and we got our the, the first goal was to have a winning season, and it was to win the division, and we've conquered those goals. So you definitely celebrate those goals, but the biggest goal is in mind that that's that goal at the end. And there's two more goals before that. You got to get the AFC and then you got to get there to the bowl. So those are the next two goals on our list. Thank you. DJ, when you're playing a, a team that's, it looked like they wanted to prove that they were the more physical team, that they're tough. And, and there was yeah. some late stuff afterwards. And normally you're not going to see them. Like you didn't see them for three months after the October game. Now you're seeing them next week. How does that play into some of the stuff that went on yesterday. No, man, I can see him tomorrow. No matter to me. I, I, everybody, for the most part, came out good. I don't think anybody's tripping too hard. We'll be ready to see him on Sunday. They can do whatever they want. Uh, you know, maybe it's just the way they play and that's the coaching that they get. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, I, I we could do this. We could do this again today. I go back out there and play him right now again. So I, I don't. I don't care, man. I'm just ready to see him again on Sunday. So we'll be prepared. We'll be ready. We'll be out there. DJ, how different is playoff football? Everybody talks about that. You know, it's kind of a different atmosphere, different feeling. Does it feel different when you're playing a playoff game? Yeah, man. The star's out, man. The star's out. It matters. Every stands is full. Every every game you're gonna go to in the playoffs, the stands is gonna be rocking. It's gonna be packed. Every regular season game isn't like that, and you know it's a one game season. You gotta leave it all out there for everything you got for these sixty minutes or however long it takes for all these games. Man, I think everybody has that same mindset. You don't see nobody folding in the playoffs. It's not gonna happen. Everybody pulling out all the stops. What they gotta do to win. <laughs> 